I appreciate very much the opportunity to be here. Good morning, everyone. Um, I, I really just have a, uh, a short message. Uh, it's, it's been a number of years since uh, I served in Congress. We launched the Congressional Hellenic Israel Alliance. The idea was premised on, as, as we know, it was premised on the opportunities in Eastern Med, and it was premised on the idea that bringing together countries with shared values to deepen the relationship, ultimately leading to the three plus one uh, and the great success we've seen, would prove important for the region. But the message, my message this morning is, is very straightforward. It's, it's one of deep appreciation for how this relationship has impacted the region at this moment of crisis. The, the fact is that in the aftermath of, of October 7th, which is the deadliest day for the Jewish people since the Holocaust, there was never a moment when Israel or the global Jewish community doubted the response of our friends in the Hellenic community. Uh, President Biden, President Christodoulides, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, all of them were on the ground in Israel showing solidarity within just two weeks of this horrific attack. There has been an acknowledgement since that at a time when the need for stability and security is greater than we've seen, not just as a result of the Hamas attacks, but as a result of Hamas's brutal attack on Israel and Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine. And as, as we've seen the Iranian strike, nearly 350 missiles and drones launched at Israel. In the face of all of these efforts that pose enormous security threats that mean, in the case of Iran especially, through their own actions and their support for Hezbollah and for Hamas and for the Houthis and for the militias in Syria and Iraq. And as they try to destabilize Jordan and as, uh, and as they work around the world to uh, destabilize other countries and to look for opportunities to attack Israeli and Jewish interests, that with all of those threats, not to mention ongoing Turkish aggression, the one thing that has been clear as a model for the way countries should work together is what we've seen happening among the United States and Greece and Cyprus. And so as this conversation proceeds this morning and we're talking about the importance of the economic opportunities and the need for energy independence and the opportunity to work together to advance the shared goals that we have, uh, I wanted, before that conversation, again, just to express my gratitude. I couldn't have imagined, I couldn't have imagined, none of us could have, uh, just a few years ago when we first convened meetings like this to try to lift up this uh, relationship that exists, the strong relationship, the shared democratic values that Israel, Greece, and Cyprus share. And the three plus one and the important role, the vital role that the U.S. plays. We couldn't have imagined there would be a moment so soon when the importance of those values would be clear, not just for the region, but as a model for the world. And that is this moment. And as we continue in this conversation, it's important for us to realize that what's discussed in this room here and the opportunities in the, the economic opportunities arising in the East Med, that those are only possible because of the incredible efforts to build this shared cooperation. Looking ahead, it seems in some ways uh, almost impossible to imagine a world that is more united. But if there's one thing that we, after the challenges of, of recent months, but if there's one thing that's clear, Coming out of the 10-7 attack and the Iranian strike on Israel, there is a desire to bring more countries together to stand with one another 
for their own security, for their own economic interests, and to stand against Iran and those whose focus is on destabilizing the world, committing murder, massacring innocents. Uh, I'm proud to be here today with all of you who understand the importance of standing together the way that Israel and Greece and Cyprus are with the strong support of the United States. I'm grateful that my uh, former colleagues from Congress uh, understand this and are leading the way Congressman Lawler and Congressman Pappas are, and I look forward to the conversation. Thank you very much.